All right, Jordan, thank you. So when we say Texas is reopening, this means businesses can open at 100% capacity, but it's their choice if they want to allow that. The challenge now is still asking people to mask up inside those businesses. Texas Today's Maria Aguilera spoke with some local business owners to find out what their plans are. Maria, what can you tell us? Heidi and Chris, the mask mandate ends today, but it's ultimately up to business owners to make the decision and create policies that prevent the spread of COVID-19. Governor Abbott's executive order lifting the mask mandate and allowing businesses to open at 100% capacity is underway in the state of Texas. Some business owners like Sally Dickinson of Morrison Skiffs in Waco will continue to encourage mask wearing. We are still going to wear masks in here. I think it makes customers feel comfortable uh, and we'll suggest that they wear masks, but if they don't want to, it's totally up to them. She says she will do whatever makes her customers most comfortable. And that opening at 100% will hopefully help more businesses get back on their feet. We're excited that people can feel like they can shop again and not worry about how many people are in the store. Others, like Leslie Ingledow, the owner of Smarty Pants Resale Shop and La Bella Salon, says it's a difficult time to be a business owner. Right when you thought you were just running a business and managing your employees, now we have to make all these decisions that we've never had to make before, and nor do we want to make them. So um, we're just going to do it to our best of our ability. She says she looks forward to better days. We just really want our community to continue to support the small businesses here in Waco, and they have done that. They've stepped out, and they've really supported us, and we can tell. We can see our business growing. The new rule takes effect today, and according to Governor Abbott, restrictions could return if COVID-19 hospitalizations top 15 percent more than seven consecutive days. In Waco, Maria Aguilera, 6 News, back to you.